Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today we're going back to the comments for another video that I was asked to do and that is making an entire solar system out of asteroids. So I've literally never thought of this idea honestly. This is a really cool idea. So anyways, let's go into a new simulation here and I literally have no idea how we're going to do this but I think our starting object is probably going to be some random asteroids. So actually wait, it did say... Yeah, I'm reading a comment right now. It said, make a solar system using only asteroids, please. I'd love to see it. So, yeah, thank you for the guy who commented that. So, so we can't use Mimus or Enceladus. Like, I was going to have this as, like, the center object as the sun, but this is a moon. This is a circular object. Same with Enceladus. We could use Phobos. Uh, these are circles, but the asteroids in the game are glitched out right now, and they're circles for some reason. So, yeah, we just pretend these aren't circular. I don't know why they're doing that. So, hmm, this is going to be kind of hard to do. So, I think for our centre object, we're going to need something of a lot of mass. So let's collide a few of these together to make quite a large object here. But we don't want it too big that it become a moon. So like a moon would be around this size. This is still an asteroid here. So we're good. And it's like evaporating. That's pretty cool. And we can't have this thing too hot either. So let's get a little bigger. Let's increase its size up a bit. We don't need to collide anymore. So let's make it up to the size of a planet. But then once it gets to like a moon, right now, as you can see, it's a moon. So let's make it smaller again so it goes back to an asteroid. It's that glitched out object. So there we go. So that's pretty much the largest we can have an asteroid, it looks like. So let's get rid of all the water. We can make it hydrogen, actually, since it's, that could be our sun, I guess. <laughs> that's kind of weird. But I guess that could be our sun, since the sun is made of, um, what's it, made of hydrogen and helium. So yeah, we'll go make the whole thing out of hydrogen. So this is basically our sun, but it won't be emitting any energy. So yeah, that's that, I guess. So now. We literally have to make a solar system around this. Actually, I'm literally going to have it as a... Wait, we can heat it up, actually. Wait. Let's go to uh, 1,000 degrees, maybe. Can we do that? Okay, it's frozen again. Wait, what about 2,000? Okay, there we go. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Let's just do that. There we go. We've got our sun. <laughs> well, it won't stay heated up for long, so there we go. It's our tiny, tiny little sun. Um, let's quickly change the background to just stars as well. Right, so this is our... I guess we'll call it, quote-unquote, sun. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so there's our sun. So now we just have to surround it with asteroids. Let's get some random asteroids. And now let's literally place them in all weird objects because asteroids are never really in like clean orbits. So let's literally just create the most bizarre system I've ever seen here. <laughs> wow, this is pretty crazy. See, I didn't know the comment didn't say like have the star as a different thing. It literally just said make the entire solar system out of asteroids. So I'm guessing this is what they mean by having even the center object or the biggest like object of gravity would be an asteroid as well. So that's a pretty large asteroid. It's pretty cool actually. Let's put some a little closer as well. I don't think they'll collide, but we could maybe form some planets maybe if we collide enough asteroids together. And let's make it even more realistic. Let's add a asteroid belt to the mix as well to see how much more crazy we can get in so let's do that like that and then add okay so as you can see that's a lot of asteroids wait it's a little too close actually wait i want to redo that so let's quickly delete that quick um go back to kilometers again let's do 300 and now that'll work okay there we go they're more spread out now right there there please add where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay, we're good. So as you can see, we've got a humongous like asteroid belt around. Actually, do you know what? What am I doing? We can have Saturn rings. We can have just add a ton of those. That's how big Saturn's rings are compared to these. This is how small this solar system really is. Alright, uh, anyways, let's delete those and make it actually more realistic. So, let's make it 300. And let's add an extra zero on the end of that. So, there we go. Now we add. There we go. So, there you go. That's like just a ton of asteroids now. Right, so now let's try. So our sun will cool down again. Let's hit play. Ooh, oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. Let's go to the orbits as well. So, as you can see, this is so bizarre right here. <laughs> oh my god, there's only so much you can do because like the center object is gonna like it, you can't you can't make it any larger. Like if it make it larger, it will literally become a moon. Like we can compare it to Mimas here. Like it's literally almost as large, but for some reason it's still an asteroid. So that's pretty cool, but yeah, there you go, I guess. So Mimus is a little smaller, which is a moon of Saturn, if you didn't know. But anyways, oh wow, it's cooling down. This is cool, it's like releasing energy. Oh, that is really cool. I, look, can you see that? Like, it's literally like releasing energy. 
Oh, that is really cool. I like that. Look, you can see it's like releasing more. It's like releasing smoke clouds out. So let's speed up time a little more. That is really cool. Oh, wow. All the objects are colliding. Well, they're huge. Oh, it's getting smaller in size. We've got to continually make it bigger. There we go. The case with planet. Well, it's going to demote back to Nashville again. Oh, my God. And it's gone. <laughs> well, we got we made a planet out of all that. All of the asteroids formed a planet. Look, we got a um, planet here. Yeah, that's large enough to be a planet. I think that's about the size of Io or Europa. Let's have a look. Is it? Europa. Okay, it's a little smaller. What about the moon? Okay, not the moon. No, what about Pluto? Pluto, where's Pluto? So we've got about a Pluto-sized object here. So that's not bad. But as you can see, this, this solar system is very dead now. So... Like I said, I didn't know how this solar system was going to go, so now I'm actually going to go and do it with, like, maybe a, a larger object, like a planet. Let's just use Ganymede. There we go. The largest moon. And now let's have a ton of asteroids around this, and we are literally going to wring havoc on this solar system, pretty much. So, let's pause it, and we're going to add literally so many objects to this simulation, I don't even know if the game will run it. But anyways, after I've done that, I'll be back with you guys. So, yeah, hopefully you're um, enjoying this video up to this point, and make sure... You hit that like button if you are, subscribe if you're new, leave any comments down below for another video idea and I may feature it. So yeah, there you go, so, yeah, I guess, see you in one second once I've got all these objects placed. Okay, I am back, and this is insane, I'm not even lying, so I'll explain these little moons here in a minute, but if we just zoom out, just look how many asteroids there are here. Like, this did take a while, I've also added a set of rings as well, but look at all of the names, like if we go on the search bar here, it's going to take a while to get through all these. Just look at this. This is ridiculous. We've definitely got a good 200, 300 objects here, not including them. But anyways, about these moons here, remember Roche Limit or Roche Limit, or have you said? These objects are about to get torn apart, so that's going to make even more asteroids. So we can continually produce more. Yeah, but I have to keep Ganymede. I tried making a really small object with the mass of Earth, but it kept on making it larger. So it's literally impossible to have an, a solar system this large without having like a large object in the middle. So, yeah, that's that, I guess. But anyways, let's go to milliseconds and hit its play. Let's speed up time, actually. Wait, why do I go into milliseconds? Carl, speed up. These moons should get torn apart by Ganymede's tidal forces. Oh, my God, it is really slow. Please, yeah, they're getting torn up. So, as you can see here, it's going to make even more asteroids to add to this. Oh, my gosh. We may have to remove the rings because there is a lot there, but... There we go, I guess. Damn, this is crazy. Wait, let's just remove the rings, actually. Yeah, that's better. All right, cool. Well, look at Ganymede. It's getting all bashed up here. But we're getting more um, little asteroids here. But just, if we go to orbits, look at this. Now, if you wanted an asteroid solar system, you've definitely got one here. All right, and all the orbits keep changing. Let's make them orbit so they're orbiting. Oh, these orbits are going to be very crazy and unstable. But there we go. Some of them are not even orbiting it for some reason. That's weird. But if we can't even have the orbits on because it's literally just going to cause the game to like crash. Like, oh, even line. Right, there we go. That's better. And this is the, even my computer's hard, hardly running this. This is one of the hardest simulations I've ever had to run, it looks like. Alright, so now we literally have to have a ton of asteroids really close to the Ganymede here. So that is crazy. Just look at this. If we go to trails, how about go to trails? That's better. Just look at this. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah, I literally can't even do a few, like, two hours a second here. This is just ridiculous. Look how fast this is. Look at all the impacts on Ganymede there as well. That is crazy. Wait, what if we turn the quality settings down? Wait. Let's go to low quality. There you go. It makes the quality pretty rubbish, but, yeah, it'll run it quicker. Oh, Ganymede's got some water on it. It looks like some of those moons gave it water. But just look at this. This is insane. Let's have more lag again. Like, that is a lot of objects. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Alright, there we go. So, oh look, if you just if we just put the background on complete darkness as well, where is it? Black, solid black. You can see all those dots are those asteroids. Just look at this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, every single little dot you see there is an asteroid. Like, we can zoom into one of the outer ones over here. See the main Ganymedes there. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like, what is even happening right now? Oh my god. That's just one of, like, many, like... This is ridiculous. Let's save the simulation in case we ever want to do it, use it in the future. So there we go. I want to be a live stream. Should I live stream Universe Sandbox? Tell me right now in the comments. Should I ever live stream it? But anyways, I think that should do it for this video because there's not really much else I can do. They're asteroids. They're not really going to cause any major supernovas or explosions or anything. So there we go. Your request has been done. 
but just oh my gosh this is this is just so cool to look at let's look at all the little dots there like, they're all asteroids like let's get them in the big lineup as well let's go to radius look at this so our largest or the largest object in this solar system is pretty much this because this is meant to be our like main body so that doesn't count but let's go back to them wow it's really slow jeez so just look at all of these asteroids this is ridiculous look at this look how far we have to go doesn't look like there's many here but when you spread them out there's loads of them wow that is so many wait can we see how many there is in total wait can we see ah it doesn't say dang it I thought we would say how many objects I've selected but oh well alright so let's go back to this again and there we go I guess that that's that I think that should um, we should end off the video here so this is more of a shorter video than usual but I'm uploading like once a day right now so there you go I guess you it's a win-win I guess but there we go so if okay so I am back so the recording crash I'm actually um making this um part of the video like half an hour later because I literally looked at the footage and I saw it was like really really laggy and stuff so a bit of an apology about that guys but honestly if I tried recording it again it would literally just crash as well because honestly this simulation is really really laggy because like if you can see there are a lot of objects here so that is the reason why so it's like the recording software can't actually pick up all of this like quick enough or something I don't know what the problem is but yeah that's that I guess so all I was going to say after that bit cut out was hopefully you all enjoyed um, and also, I had an extra in. Sorry for all the lag that this video had. I thought, though, I may as well still upload it because, like, why not? Like, it's still a video that's unrequested. Might as well still do it or attempt to do it anyway. But yeah, that's that, I guess. So, sorry for the lagginess of this video. Make sure you hit that dislike button because this video is pretty garbage. But might as well upload it anyway. So, that's that I guess, so yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this really laggy episode of Universe Sandbox, and yeah, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, more like a dislike, because this video was pretty awful, but yeah, that's that, so I'll see you in the next video, and also, next video could be coming out a few hours in this one, I thought this video's been awful, let's do a double upload to make things better, so yeah, hopefully I'll see you in another episode in a few hours time, so yeah, peace.